Okay guys, I'm gonna be doing a armory update. And I'm gonna just start off with my gear, but I basically sold all my weapons to buy this one that I have in that bag. But, so I'm just gonna start with all my clothing. First thing I have is just a little kind of fanny pack type, type deal where I'll keep like my speed loaders, little tools, little stuff like that. I'll normally keep grenades and fireworks in there for flashbangs. Then I'll just carry an extra pair of safety goggles or whatever I'm at. Then I have this little camo hat. Just use this at almost every game, just whenever I get a chance, unless it's super, super hot out. And I just don't want to wear it. And I have just a little homemade attack vest just for some camo and a little protection around the body. If it's midsummer and I'm just wearing a t shirt. If I'm just wearing a t shirt. But in this little pack right here, I always keep something to start the fireworks with, so I'll normally just keep my Zippo. There we go. Normally just keep that in there. And some Strike Anywhere matches in a box. Box I put some of that in, so if there's no rough surfaces around or something, I can just strike it on that. Then this is what I'll wear in the winter, well, at least until I get my camo jacket. But this is just a really thick, heavy coat that is from an expensive clothes store. If you're from Lincoln, you should know the Buckle brand, but this jacket was probably $100, and I was just wearing it for looks, but it's gotten cold, not cold, old. And then that pocket, I keep my dead drag. Um, the game that I just played, I just played in the game like a month ago, but I did not have a dead drag, so they just gave me one. Okay, now on to the guns. Let's start with crappier to the best. Everybody should know this gun, a little crappy Spring Walter P226 pistol, P99. Um, safety doesn't work. Mag release, right there. It's a mag with, you can throw 100 rounds in the back. It's loaded right now. It's actually a pretty good gun. I use 0.2 gram BBs with it, and it's easy to use in the winter because it's a spring-powered gun. And I'm sell I'm trading this gun in a little bit to my friend for a sniper rifle. But it's just a little Taurus PT-92 gas blowback pistol. Spray painted it gold. I feel that it turns out really good. You should you guys should comment and tell me if you think the paint on that turned out pretty good. Um yeah, it has a fifteen round full metal mag. I've done some internal work to it. And then I have my um, my pistol carrier, pistol holder, and this is just an extra mag for that for that gun. So there's the pistols. Okay, in this pocket I have two full metal mags, two full metal mags. The D-Boys, this one, I ordered an AGM, but they sent me a D-Boys, so it doesn't really work that well. But this is the one that came with the gun, and I have had no problems with it. It's just my homemade quick winder thing. And it has 8.4 volt, 1500 milliamp vac battery. And then just to keep in here, in case there's any problems on the field, I keep the instruction manual, just in case. Now on to what's actually in the bag. Okay, here I have my 2011 AGM M16 A1. 
and everybody's going to say it's not a real A1 because that's detachable. I really don't care. I'm calling it an A1 because it has a triangle foregrip. I know it's not a real A1 because this is removable, but I really don't give a crap. It looks cool. Gotta have the barrel condom. I just put a little stuff around there because the orange went to there, so I kept it legal and just put electrical tape. It has had some scratches, so I've just covered that up with Sharpie, but this is a really great gun. I'll give you the sound of it cocking. Sounds pretty cool. Look down the iron sight. Oh, where? There it is. So, I'm thinking about getting a scope for this for Christmas and just scope, scope mount, stuff like that. Because this gun is extremely accurate and I want it to be a long range weapon. So, I'm thinking about just putting a scope on there. Um. So just tell me what you think guys of this. I know it's not the best collection. I really don't use pistols because everything I do is long range shooting. Um, so that's why I'm selling this pistol. Well not selling but trading it. And that's why I just keep that pistol. Just something if they do get close I can just pop off one shot. And then I just have this mag. I still, I heard if you file down file up on that, it'll fit in the mag, but it's basically all I have. It's um, just to do a quick run through of the gun. It has a NATO type war barrel. Okay, it's not going to focus. This says 6.1. That's just the type of BB it shoots. Of course, it's not a 6.0 mil millimeter barrel because that would just be ridiculous. Mag release. Cocking mechanism has all of the gears in there so you can adjust the hopper. Full stock. Put the battery in there. Um, sling mount. Sling mount. That rattles around so I just taped it down. Uh, what else? Honestly, that basically it so just rate comment and subscribe and tell me if you guys want me to do anything to this or what you think about the scope I'm thinking about probably doing a little bit of camo just like some camo wrap and if you guys live in Lincoln Nebraska or somewhere close to that please message me about airsoft force cuz it's super hard to find them down here and I am Huge into airsoft, probably the best out of all my friends, but I just really need somebody to play with for airsoft, like a group or a team or something, where I don't have to go drive an hour and a half to two hours to get to a game. So just message me, I'd prefer a personal message, but if you leave it in the comments, that's fine. So rate, comment, and subscribe, and thank you guys.